My name is Androx here from the Mission, and today this is going to be my second video on Siren gameplay. I'm going to have absolutely no messing about today. We're going to be doing raiding and heroes expeditions. So, without any further ado, I said right into this. I'm going to go straight into the raiding here and um, we're basically going to see how, just how good this hero is in raiding. We're going to cover just about every aspect in the game just to see if this hero is any good or not. Now I know I watched back in my previous episode and I said this hero isn't ranged, but it sort of mid-range, but the actual proc itself is ranged, just in case you're confused there. Don't mind me, I can occasionally get my words mixed up, but there we are. Um, I'm gonna actually uh, put it on these corners here, just to see if the proc targets any of those heroes. Now, um, I said in one of previous, uh, my previous video, what I like about this hero is it's proc, targets um I, I believe it oh i don't know actually it looks it should be targeting heroes but i don't know um what i do we like about this proc though there we are finally managed to get somewhere um i did wonder what it were doing there for a second what i like about this hero is it's proc targets uh, heroes as long as the troops aren't there and it does a fair bit of damage as you can see there um it takes down the amount, well it brings up the amount of damage that uh, enemy heroes can take which can actually kind of save your ass when it comes to raiding and whatever as uh, a lot of the heroes such as Orcsbane and uh, Vlad for example uh, they can um, they can uh, take quite, quite a bit of damage particularly if you've got um, life drain on it which is very very sought after talent these, game, uh, these days as um, if you actually roll gems for talents um, I believe there's a worse chance to either get Berserk, um, Life Drain, or Deadly Strike. There's a lower chance to get those. I, I'm, I'm getting distracted here. Um, I'm taking a look at uh, what it's doing. And, well, it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, it does target heroes. Again, it's, it's got the same sort of issue that Spirit Mage has got, where it can sort of target troops as well. So we can get another proc in here. And, um, yeah, it, it does a fair bit of damage. Um, it's pretty good in terms of damage and whatever. I'd say Berry Spirit Mage does slightly more. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But what I do like about this hero is the 5 of 5 slowdown built in and the amount of damage taken by heroes can go up. I, I kind of like the fact that it's got all that built in as um as that kind of makes it better. Um, what I think this hero needs is it shouldn't really be targeting troops. Now if it targeted heroes only and if it just targeted heroes in buildings, then I think we might be onto something. As you can see, damage, pretty good damage there. Um, like I say, if it just did heroes and buildings, I think we might be onto something. But um, because it targets troops as well, um, it's, it's not so good for those that are on the lower tier of the game. As more troops generally seen. Uh, obviously, uh, my kind of my, you, you don't tend to see all that many troops these days, so it's not really a massive issue. But for that was in sort of the lower march, more like a sea troops, hero becomes less and less useful. It is pretty good if you haven't got a pumping duke though, particularly with HBM, but uh, there we are. And I would honestly say, I'm honestly saying already, this is probably the cheap replacement to Spirit Mage, but there we are. Um, let's go ahead and go into another raid in here. Um, like I said, the damage is pretty good, um, that's not really an issue for me, I think... Just the main issue, I think it probably needs more health. I think it's a little bit underpowered. Um, I don't see anything wrong with making this hero so it doesn't have a cooldown, personally. But um, there we are. Because <laughs> it's healing itself with its life drain built in. That is an absolute lifesaver in HBM. Lost. Ugh. That life drain is so, so good. But uh, honestly, I can't see a problem with this hero being... Ugh, just not, being ha not having a cooldown. Uh, I don't see the problem there. I don't know why it had to have a cooldown, personally. Um, I suppose you could have stacked that slow down so it kind of makes everything slow down to a crawl, I guess. But I don't see how it could have been overpowered with without a cooldown. But uh, there we are. That's what they include into the game. And um, what, I'm seeing, what I'm starting to see here is it's quite good at sort of clearing out... Um, Remains of buildings. For example, I've got a Minotaur, and sometimes when it stacks it proc, sometimes it misses out a few buildings, it doesn't quite take them out. And the Siren proc, I think it can, croc, uh, I think it can proc all the way around the map. Um, it kind of takes the rest of those buildings out in case um, in case there's just a little bit of health left on them, which is kind of good. I'm kind of seeing this hero sort of 
Uh, here it can sort of clear everything out just in case there's a few bits and bobs missing, which um, is kind of useful. It can sort of speed up raiding, and I imagine it will be able to speed up dungeons as well. Um, so for raiding there, pretty good. I wouldn't say this is essential hero to have, but it, it can certainly be helpful. I mean, I'm running... Um, Pumpkin Duke, Cupid, Druid, Minotaur, Santa, and Siren here. Um, it is replaceable, you know, there are other heroes you could use. I mean, I do have a Spirit Mage, I could well use that. Um, Ares, I could well use that. It's just one of those heroes that's kind of replaceable, but uh, it's not certainly not a bad one to use in raiding. Um, now, Expeditions. Now, uh, Expeditions are fairly easy. <laughs> There's no getting away from it these days. And I remember when Expeditions first came out, it used to be absolutely solid um but now i think scenes they included it so that the higher the might rank the um the uh, <clears throat> the more damage not more damage sorry the higher the might rank the more amount of heroes you can put out so it kind of made it a lot easier now we're gonna be able to see um siren taking out some of these troops here we're gonna see what its proc does when there's actually troops out let's have a look here uh shouldn't be too far away yeah, I like his proc, it does look pretty cool, I must admit, but the fact that it targets troops as well is kind of a bummer, really. Now, if it just targeted heroes and buildings, I think we'll be I think we'll be onto something there. I do like his proc, though. I think for this particular hero, but in the majority of situations, it is going to help you out a lot if you level up its skill. As you can see it took out a bit there. Like I say, it's got the same similar sort of problems that Spirit Mage has, but... Um, there we are, um, not too bad, you know, um, there's, there's probably more useful heroes in the game when it comes to raiding and whatever, but uh, there we are, um, we're seeing Ares going there, I love the fact that my Pumpkin Duke has finally got a revive on it, that's made it so, so useful. I'm going to be talking about a few bits and bobs in the <clears throat> about the update in another video, um, I'm loving the new stuff added to the Lost Realm, and I think everyone else is. It's made Mythical Crest Bags so much easier to get. Um, we're getting sidetracked here anyway. Um, let's put it on... Oh, let's have a look. Let's put it on one of these corners here without some troops to see what I can do to the middle. Um, like I said, I'm going to be covering a little more on the Lost Realm stuff later on. The Lost Realm Shop, which is something I missed out in my update video. My apologies, guys. Um, I kind of missed that one out, but it's very, very useful. You can buy mythical crests with gold. So now we have a we now we have a reason to use gold, which is fantastic. You can't argue with that. Um, now the level two crest you can actually end up buying with um, gems and whatever. So uh, make sure you have your gold vaults full when you go to the Lost Realm, guys, and make sure you have a few gems spare over just in case you want a few of those uh, level two crests. But yes. Yeah, it's made those mythical crests so much easier to get. Um, I'm going to cancel that right there just in case she gets taken out. Um, it's made mythical crests so much to get. Um, I'm just going to show off my pumpkin juke now because I just can't, I can't handle it. Look at this. I've got a full revive set now on my pumpkin juke, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, so, so good. Uh, I remember before the update, I think I had like four mythical crests in total or something like that. And I think after this, I've now got a full revive set. And I think I'm one away from a berserk set. Um, yeah, I'm one away from berserk set. Berserk set. I actually got a level two one. Um, level one. Oh, was it two and one? I don't fucking know. Um, a level two berserk crest from forging a scorch crest and... A stone skin crest. Oh wow, that was absolutely brilliant. I had to screenshot that shit. You know that, guys. Oh, you have to screenshot that kind of look. You definitely know that. But anyway, gameplay of the raiding and expeditions today. Honestly, pretty good. You know, I'd say it's about average. You know, not essential. She's very easily replaceable for raiding and expeditions. But hey, she's she is kind of useful. Um, I think if you had a spirit mage, I'd say that's probably better for raiding and whatever. But um. You know, can't get can't go wrong for having her in uh, expeditions. Um, <clears throat> I mean, having a new hero is absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, stay tuned. Next episode is going to be on. Um, let's have a think. What should I do this on? Uh, I'd say dungeons and lost realm. This being a member of Mob Nation, and until next time.
I'm out of here. Yeah.